see what the Type R can do. Good morning guys, now this is something different, something that you guys are very unused to on this channel, but let me give you a bit of a history lesson. So, I used to own an EP3 Civic Type R. Now, I've kind of missed a lot of the generations as to how far they've come, and obviously I missed the FK2. This behind me is the new 2018 Honda Civic FK8. Now, a lot of people have raved about this car, and fortunately for me, Jerry um, has kindly invited me down to have a go of what is a 316 horsepower front wheel drive Menace. Right, so for all of you who don't know Jerry, who's sitting next to me, so Jerry is the proud owner of a uh, modified 695 Biposto. Yep. 230 odd horsepower in your 217. Order. 217. Yeah. But the real story that I'm keen to to really understand is um, what was it? What was it that made you choose the um, the FKA? Funnily enough, we were in on holiday yeah. in Cyprus last year, and. and big modern supermarket complex yeah. and they had one in there, the, the sport one with the twin exhausts. Yeah. I thought that's quite nice, it was in the battleship grey. Yeah, but yeah. Um, when we came back I was just started looking because I had the E-Class and I just fancied something a bit more fun. Yeah. And as I said to you, the, the idea was to uh, um, keep this then I could actually sell the Biposto. So I have one car that did everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just can't you just sell can't the Biposto. <laughs> so you've got two yeah. pretty awesome cars. Yeah. Oh, and this, this is, um, this already, so obviously I've, I said it earlier, I've had my own EP3, I had the final edition EP3, which I thought was absolutely amazing. It's a proper ASBO little car. And um, I'm, I'm just amazed at how much more refined this car feels already. Nice little smile to your face already, doesn't yeah. it, this car? Now, obviously, what so Honda have gone. Um, so, I think the key difference between this and the FK2, I think we talked about it earlier, it's the individual suspension as well. So, they've gone That's away right. from the bar to individual suspension setup. Yeah. It's, it's a lot more usable, yeah. which is nice with the comfort mode as well. Yeah. It just doesn't pull yeah, yeah, the steering yeah. wheel when you plant it. And it's 316 horsepower, this one. Yeah. Still using the, the two litre engine, but obviously, it's a turbocharged engine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that in itself makes uh, a big difference. Yeah, it makes you wonder what they did to the V6 or something. Yeah, oh, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> but I think one of the first things that I notice on this car is um, is the seating position. Um, it, it allows you to sit very low down. It's all in the right place. The steering wheel itself is a bit like a PlayStation controller. You've got a million and one different options on here, which obviously I'm not going to uh, understand right now because it's the first time I've driven this car. But it's clear that you've got a lot of functionality available to you at the touch of your fingers, which is great. But um, I think the part that I'm really looking forward to trying out is just seeing what the performance of this car is like. So um, let's find some good roads and let's hit this. Yeah. The grip <laughs> is phenomenal. It is, isn't it? Oh my word, for a front wheel drive car, yeah. I've just come around that corner, feel, this felt like it was a four wheel drive. That, if, that's incredible. On a lot of the YouTube ones, that's what they say. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm super impressed, flipping out. I know it's a dry day and the tarmac's stickier, yeah. but you know, don't take that away from this car. You normally you get a bit of understeer or you get a bit of front, you know, front wheel spin. 
but that just took it. it just ate it alive. And that's the thing is, I think you've got the, um, so we've got the option between comfort, sport, and race, is yes. that right? And is, it that, is that three different stages of suspension, completely. or is it completely yeah. different? Yeah. That's incredible. It's just... Oh, we have lights. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. like some sort of a hero driver you know you do have that Lewis Hamilton feel but yeah. uh, it feels a little bit alien to start with because you're used to doing it yourself yep. but um, but it's perfect it just makes you re-engage in the gears so much look at this I mean, into fifth perfect rev match into fourth it's great <laughs> I think from a looks perspective I think the front of this car looks so aggressive it's so much wider as well yes I think if I if I was driving and I saw the front of this coming up in my rear view mirror, the first thing I'll do is pull open. Yeah. Absolutely. I think the rear of the car for me is very Star Trek. Yeah. It's super, super, there's lines everywhere, square shapes everywhere. I think that's exactly what Honda are about. Yeah. I think that's their thing, it's what they do. It uh, takes something great and make it crazy. That's kind of Honda's ethos, isn't it? And um, I think they've done a fantastic job with this car. I really, really yeah. do. Okay, so we're on some B roads now. Let's, um, let's see what this bad boy's like. So we're in race R. Let's see what the Type R can do. Okay guys, um, an absolutely unbelievable driving experience, the Honda Civic Type R, the FK. I absolutely love it. I honestly, I'm super, super, I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words as to how impressed I am with a 320 odd horsepower, 316 horsepower car, front wheel drive that grips as much as it does, but the driving experience of that Civic Type R, I think Honda have absolutely smashed it. And what I thought was brilliant in the form of the EP3 has just been enhanced and raised to complete new levels. They've, They've set a benchmark here for front wheel drive, in my opinion. Now, I guess the question is, is 
what's next and um, I'm really excited to see what happens but yeah huge thanks to Jerry for allowing me to come down and drive his car much much appreciated my name has been Steph and you guys have been awesome of course make sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit subscribe we do automotive content loads of cool stuff for cars reviews events all that good stuff make sure to do so and I'm going to see you all on the next one thank you bye bye